Radio Wiltshire. Yes, the time where we share your creativity on BBC Radio Wiltshire. Happy New Year and here's to many more happy new uploads. We want to hear from you. If you are a creative in Wiltshire and you've been making stuff, share it with us if we like it. We'll play it. We love to hear from writers, comedians, poets, musicians, artists, vloggers, bloggers, podcasters. If it's creative, we'll share it. And if we like it, as I say, we'll get you on the radio. Tonight, as a special treat this Monday evening, we have a song which we've been promised will give us a holiday vibe. So here to tell us more now is Yeva Deli from Swindon. A very good evening uh, to you, Yeda. Tell us, Yeva, tell us about the song you've uploaded. Uh, hi, I'm so glad to be here. Um, so we wrote this song together with uh, Justina Stanislavitis on the first lockdown. So we were collaborating while I was in UK, he was in Lithuania, and we decided that we need to write something positive, something bright, something, you know, where we can travel in our minds. And uh, that's how a song Kathmandu was born. <laughs> and, and working, writing on different parts of the world, that must have been a bizarre experience. Well, actually, I really enjoyed it. So he wrote the music he sent to me, and then I wrote the lyrics, and we kind of, you know, chat on on Facebook Messenger, and we were, like, talking, giving feedback to each other. And I I think the result was really nice. (laughs) And I actually really like to collaborate with people from all over the world. So it wasn't the first time when when I did it, so it it was all right. (laughs) And and the fact that you say it's got a bit of a holiday feel-good vibe about it, is that kind of helping you get into 2021, maybe post-corona and and travelling again? Is that something you're yearning to do? Uh, This is something that I really, really missed. And uh, I can't wait when we can all travel again together. So um, <laughs> this this song is like, a, you know, meditation, a way to get out of this uh, all lockdown situation because it's, cause it's pretty down. So um, I hope that this song will give a bit of positivity to everyone who will listen to this song. There's been a lot of musicians who've taken to streaming their music online and writing more because of lockdown this year and being creative in different ways. Is there anything about lockdown that, that actually helped your creative process this year would you, or last year now, would you say? Oh, well, I would say that the first lockdown for me was a way better in the way that I wrote a few new songs and a new other songs are coming out. So I'll try to get an upload again <laughs> with the new song. Um, but this third wave, I would call it third wave now. I mean, I don't know, for me, it's pretty complicated and it's so hard to get out of the bed and I'm just like watching Netflix. So I think it's just, uh, you know, it's like a wave. The motivation and uh, inspiration is like a wave. So sometimes it goes up and then it goes down. So I think it's just a natural circle. Um, So I don't push myself too much to write these days, but I feel that inspiration will come back, uh, you know, as soon as we have a little bit more sun and spring vibes in the air. (laughs) Yeah, absolutely. And this is a collaboration, this this piece of music. And you say that you really enjoy uh, collaboration but do you produce solo stuff as well? Yeah, uh, well, I, I'm working now on my uh, kind of preparing mentally for my uh, EP, which I'm going to do it like alone. And also I work on other collaborations, which we already are in the middle of the way. Um, so I, I'm preparing in my, you know, uh, subconscious level <laughs> to hmm. all the creativity. Um, but for now, I'm more like chilling and relaxing, <laughs> I would Good. say. Glad. Yeah, but I do I do love to write songs. But I would say I'm, I, I like it more when I collaborate with other people. So then we can, you know, share the energy. And I think music is meant to be for more than one person. So I think creating a song with someone else is, well, at least I prefer it way more than just do it alone. Well, before we hear uh, your song, uh, Katmandu is its name. How do people find out more about you and maybe hear more of your music if they're interested in the meantime, uh, Yeva? Well, it, they can uh, search me if they type on the search Yeva Delhi, which is Y E. Uh, V-A-D-E-L-I they can find my Spotify my YouTube channel my Instagram so like everything is out there so they can find 
not only my music, but also my, my modeling experience, my acting experience, and also poems that I write time, time after time. Multi-talented or what? Yeva, it's been a real pleasure chatting to you. And do share your future stuff with us on Upload. We are always keen to get people's uh, submissions. Uh, bbc.co.uk slash upload. Um, that's where to go. In the meantime, let's enjoy this song, which Yeva Delhi and her collaborative partner Partner put together and loaded to BBC Upload. It's Katmandu. Katmandu by Yeva Delhi from Swindon and Justina Stanislavitis, I think. Brilliant though, isn't it? They uploaded it to BBC Upload. We've just had a lovely chat with Yeva. Why don't you share something creative with us? It doesn't have to be music. It can be writing, poetry, art, whatever it is. If it's creative, just go to bbc.co.uk slash upload and share it. If we like it, we'll play it. Upload.